The Lagos State Government and the Nigerian Conservation Foundation, NTF, has held the 15th edition of the Annual Walk for Nature, which highlights the importance of preserving nature and improving the quality of life across the state. The Commissioner for the Environment and Water Resources, Tunji Bello, who was represented at this year's edition of the walk, says it is imperative to bring awareness to the populace in the wake of the ravaging effect of climate change. The government believes that if residents continue to build houses along the wetlands, incidents of flood will increase. If that uh, poverty is the cause of this um, negative attitude towards nature, I want to believe that a lot of us develop from the villages and there are orderliness in most remote villages where they use as waste dump. You don't see people just putting waste behind their house. They are usually waste dump, communal waste dump, where people dump waste. So what is wrong with us in the cities? We all uh, can see the videos going around on social media about the flood in certain areas in Nigeria. A lot of uh, communities, towns have been submerged, that even to the rooftop, and that calls our attention to respect and protect our environment, the ecosystem. If you use all lands available to, to, to build houses, to where do you want runoff water to go? When we tell you that we have to protect our wetlands, it has reasons. We can't use all the land and put ourselves in limbo. We must take deliberate steps towards ensuring that we protect the state of the environment that we live in and we want to hand over to our children and our green. Now, the work for nature is geared towards promoting healthy lifestyles, improving physical fitness, and increasing the environmental health of the residents through a reduction of vehicular emission. Acting Director of Technical Programs of the NTF, Adi Dayomemudu, says the foundation will continue to enhance the protection of the ecosystem and its sustainability. We equally want to advocate for actions that will help us minimize our pollution, enhance our waste management, and uh, uh, tackle the climate crisis to, for a sustainable future in line with the 17th uh, Sustainable Development Goals. And uh, we realize it's not what we can do alone. We need uh, uh, relevant uh, stakeholders, people, government, uh, government officials, policy makers, and the common man on the streets to join arms with us. Uh, like the recent examples of uh, what uh, COVID-19 pandemic actually taught us. It was as a consequence of our irresponsible relationship with natural resources in our environment. Now, the government urged all organizations, communities, and individuals to engage proactively in increasing awareness through the Work for Nature program to prevent destruction of natural habitat. The work was held in three different locations simultaneously at Tsuruliri, Ikoyi, and Ikeja. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.